What's going on, go down family? It's your boy Kigo Dummy. It's on Bet Me Know the Reaction, man. I'm Bet Me Know the Reaction. All right, so look, bro, at 15K, we're doing the giveaway. We give away three gift cards and $50, but we're selecting four winners. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell anybody to subscribe. And we also need 20K by the end of this year. Well, bro, just, just give me the 20K, bro, because I don't think I'm going to hit it this year. Because at the rate I'm going, it's like, you know, it, it's slow. I ain't going to lie, it's slow. But we slowly getting to 15K, and I appreciate y'all. For that, you know what I'm saying? For showing me love and supporting me. Make sure you leave a like for this video. Turn on post notifications. Follow me on every social media link that you see in the description below. Bruh, just hit the title and it'll like pop up below, you know, some the it's something with the Bro, just follow all the links. In today's video, we finna be looking at self-defense videos, you know what I'm saying? TikTok videos, uh, cause I love y'all, you know what I'm saying? I wanna, y'all gotta be protected. Y'all gotta learn how to defend y'all so don't, don't, don't be this guy. Like, for real. Don't, don't take whatever I said serious, bro. Just, just don't be this guy. But we finna go ahead and jump right into the video. Well, it's not really, I ain't gonna lie, it's not really a TikTok compilation. It's like, it's, it's just a, it's just a compilation. I ain't gonna lie. I just wanted to put TikTok in it because because, you know, y'all y'all love TikTok. TikTok, it, I don't know. It just don't hit the same to me no more. But yeah, man, let's um, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Let's go. Travel training. I'm going to share with you what to do if you're surrounded by a group of men that attack you. So if they come at you, what you don't want to do is try to stand in the middle like you're on yeah. the yeah. circle. Try to yeah. Try to hit. That's not going to work. So if they try to grab and then try to attack you and you try to back up, this is what's going to happen. As you try to back up, you're going to swarm and you're still going to be dominated and you're going to lose. What you should do is this. Don't, don't do this. Don't do this, bro. Just try to run or something. These folks finna get, he finna get these folks killed. <laughs> and as you can see, when you move in a circle around the crowd, you're able to attack each attacker individually. No, you, bro. You try to respond to training. I'm going to share with you today some ways that you can increase your survivability. If someone grabs you to the side, bear hugging you, holding against your will. So you can take your leg, wrap it around the heel here, bring your knee to the front, and lock it out. Another way you can do that is on the other leg, the rear of this side. Just simply take your leg to the rear, hook, drop it down, and hook out. This can increase your survivability if someone's trying to hold you against your will on your side. Detroit Urban Survival Training. We're going to share with you right now what to do if someone grabs your wrist from the side. This is something that commonly happens when people are trying to manhandle you. Uh, so they grab here, we want to escape, first level of response to any threat. And the way we do that is by taking our elbow over the top, here. The reason why we want to go here is because we don't want to go to zero. So we don't want to go here and then start over and then find a better fighter than us. From here, we go here, so it puts us in a superior position. Okay, so I mean, that'll kind of work. Here. Legally, I just want to escape if they just grab my wrist. Here, if I want to control. I think it'll work, I don't know. Ooh. I saw so he snapped the elbow for real. Grab you. One, two, three. It's very painful. If it's more serious, here, here, here. And that's peeling the eyes and striking the throat in the highway. That's how you defend yourself from a grab. Detroit Urban Survival Training. Today we're going to show you what to do for a mobile countermeasure if someone's yeah. following you. If, <laughs> if you notice a vehicle behind you, like this black truck, I can't you know, take this. Three consecutive right hand turns. Consecutive left hand turns. That's a J. That car is fire. If the car is still behind I'm talking you, about the car he drives. And you look back there, they're still there. You're going to go to the nearest police station and call 911 on the way. When you call 911, try to keep your operator in line if you can. Get your operator number. And then also make sure you get the address to the right police station. In this case, it's called Precinct in Detroit. And you also make sure when the vehicle comes by and they drive by you, you try to get the license plate number. Don't move. You move out. 
Bro, you a dead man, bro. No, don't do this. Don't, bro. Whatever he about to say, just don't do it, bro. Just give up everything you got. Bro. Detroit Rivers Valley Training. We're sharing right real. now some options you have that can increase your survivability. If someone placed a gun to your throat in close quarters, and this is what happens when someone wants to do some incredible harm to you. They want to take you somewhere, take you hostage, or if they want to torture you. So this is a position you would find yourself in, and instead of allowing them to do that to you, uh, or just allowing them to kill you, here are some options that may increase your survivability. What you can do, number one, is you have to move your head offline from the uh, line of the trajectory of the bullet at the same time that you pull the wrist in. So step one, head goes back as hand is pinned in. This does not take strength because you're just pulling your hand in, which causes a lock on the wrist, which also articulates the barrel away from you. Two, your fingers go here, thrusting into the eyes, and you're thrusting forward. You're not just touching the eyes, you're actually thrusting in, down. And from here, if you don't want to take it to the ground, you would just redirect the barrel here, and this would give you control of the ability to use the weapon, or if you don't want to shoot them, to back them off. The choice is yours. Detroit Urban Survival Training giving you intelligent options to increase no. your survivability. No, no. Detroit Urban Survival Training. We don't encourage anyone to fight or to resist, but if you do decide to resist, what we want to do is make sure you have intelligent options. This is biomechanics, understanding how the body works. So this position is when a minor is pushed, so the minor is not injuring another minor, or in this case, fighting a larger adult. What he's gonna do is a body drop. So he's being pushed back by a much larger person. He drops down by stepping off line underneath. The aggressor goes over the top, he runs away with freedom, and he didn't actually impact the person, he didn't punch them, which means you can't be charged with a crime. So this is a way to defend yourself safely and create the most nonviolent outcome, but also avoid being sued or having an injury resulting in a prosecution. I mean, I guess. This is the guy. This is the guy. Bruh, I seen this man make a video on it, bruh. <laughs> hey, that joke was so funny, bruh. Shout out to him, man. Sorry, don't move. Don't move. No, bruh, you're dead. No, bro. No, no. Want to attack you? Want to fight you? You want to show that you don't want to fight by keeping your hands open, so the witnesses will see that. That'll come out later to be very important legally. The cameras will see that your hands are open. You're also going to be backing away from the person at the same time. Your hands are between your mouth and that person at all times, no matter what. As they come forward, instead of you trying to fight them, you're going to take them to the ability to stand. By stomping through the knee, you take them to the ability to stand up, and you're stomping through the knee, not to the knee. So this is how you're able to take control of your safety. Oh. No, bro. We're going to share with you <laughs> some of the ways that we have used to break apart violent aggressors who do not want to back away. In this case, neither one of them is a victim. They're both aggressive. When they come in, our hands go here, right to the face, right to the nose, or to the eye. <coughs> and this Why are they making so much noise? It creates safety for you and your family, no matter where you live in the world. Detroit Urban Survival Training, we're going to share with you uh, some information related to human reaction time and identification of a weapon. So right now, he's going to shoot. If he sees a weapon, if I bring this weapon out to bear, he is going to shoot. Give an example of what that sounds like, but if you'll hear that noise. All right. You see me pull the weapon, you're gonna fire. Clear? Clear. Okay, did you hear this go first? Yes. Let's okay, try it again, don't say anything. Sounds like a tie. Yeah. Say, so don't move, don't move. About, about the time. Don't move. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this, bro. Because people can have a different reaction time, bro. Some people, like, they reaction time is, like, is not on point. Like, me, I can say I got kind of a, you know, it's, it's all right. I got kind of a good reaction time. I got, you know, good reflexes and, you know, things of that nature. Shout out Duke Dennis, you know. Hey. So with both hands up, and that's human reaction time. Because by the time his brain saw that he didn't have a weapon, it was too late. But still got shot. some people that's are like, lesson for what if they old? Don't shoot me. 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 Don't sh
Why, but why would you be on the side of it? Oh, you be shot in the front. Hey, still, still coming out. Bro, you're getting blasted, bro. Your skull and holds you hostage, and they're gonna shoot if you move. In this situation, if they're just bro, what if folks always do what they say. What if folks just walk up and just spray you like? Like no questions, no answers. Just, just walk up, just, just, just spray you, bro. Pause. They, they just give them whatever they want. If you believe they're going to kill you, if you believe they're going to take you to a secondary location, if you believe your life's in danger and you can't trust them with the gun to the back of your skull, here is an intelligent option that can help you. He is going to shoot if I move. Did you pull the trigger? I did. All right. Did you feel like the bullet went past? No, he's lying. He he's lying, bro. He's lying. I just met him here in Detroit, and uh, we're doing street demonstrations so we can share with you uh, the reaction that real people have without any training. So he was actually gonna shoot, and uh, this individual tried to shoot, and he just did, was not there biomechanically. The reason why is because when the gun is here, when I move what's in front of the gun, I move out of the way of the blade of the gun. When he sees me move, my head moves, and he pulls the trigger. To keep him from backing the gun away and, and realigning the gun with me, I come forward, wrapping the arm. Going into the eyes here, he's hyper, his bind, and hyperextended the arm here, and the weapon is extended and secured. That is how you can defend yourself in this situation. The first thing I do is always move what's in front of the barrel of the gun. And then close the gap and redirect and always attack the eyes of the aggressor under all conditions so you can deprive them of the ability Bro, to that's see not see working. It. It's very serious in this case because of our proximity. I went for the eyes and that's what you can do to help secure your safe your safety and to make your No, safety. no, safety. don't don't do that. Don't do that, bro. That is not yeah, working. Grab your hand or the wrist while you have a knife in your hand. You can use the bottom of it to go right here to their hand and all you're going to do is articulate it down. And that causes pain. You can take control of them. You can move them down. Or you can actually hold them against their will. These are your choices. If you want to just get free, all you do is move in a circle. Use the bottom of the blade here, bottom of your knife. Get a circle and get free just like that. And it's also, you felt pain when you were holding? Yes. Okay. So you can also yes, use this. Face this face. person was here. We want to move the guy. We don't want to stab him. We want to make them back away from our family. Wait, make them back away from our house. Whatever this is, this aggressor, uh, we want to back them away. But we don't want to stab them with this knife. Because that would not be legal. We want to make sure that when we are defending ourselves and our families, we're doing it legally. So we can take the blade right here, use the bottom of the knife here, the back to the middle of the skull, and just pull down. It's very painful. It causes the person to buckle and to let go or to back away. I mean, okay, yeah, some of it, some of it he teaching, yeah, he is, yeah, I can tell you. But them gun ones, no, bro, no. Some of the oh that's the end of the video. But some of the bro, some of this stuff, bro, is like nah, bro, like that that is not happening. It just depend on the person for real, for real, like who you know who can defend themselves. This was funny and this was like I uh, I don't know, like don't 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 do this, y'all don't please don't do this, <laughs> please don't do the gun ones don't like just just don't just give up everything like just now I'm not saying you know give up your, your you know like don't bro don't do that such stuff bro like just if a dude put a gun to my head and i have to do something sus bro you might as well just take my life bro <laughs> you might as well do it because ain't no way i'm i'm going out like that but anyway man that's gonna be it for today's reaction i hope y'all enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like sub to the channel turn on post notifications that i upload every single day and don't forget to give away at 15k and we also need 20k follow me on every social media link that you see in the description below um y'all stay safe and I'm out, bro. Bro, please stay safe, bro. Just... <laughs> I'm out, bro.